Hey y'all, this is Kelly at Crochet Mile for Life. It's Sunday. What is it? March 22nd. And I just wanted to hop on here and say hi to everybody. I'm um, getting ready to go back to work. This will be my sixth night straight. I'm tired. And uh, as it looks at my place, People ain't practicing that social distancing. Mm -mm. They uh, they are still out in full force. You know they got to get them two packs of gum and that um drink. So, and I have to work right now because uh, my husband's job. They this is like supposed to be the busy season. Well, they've called just about every job out off. So the one that he's on. It's just about done, and he'll be home. So who knows? So, yeah, I'm, I'm having to work, and I am tired. My doggies are barking. Every night when I get off, they barking. And I feel just achy. And um, so, Mama ain't happy right now. I can't fake it. <laughs> But whatever, it's it's gonna be what it's gonna be. And we just have to <clears throat> hold on for better days. I went to the store a while ago here in our little town. You know, I don't know how many thousands. We ain't got it might be about six or seven thousand. It's probably not even that. I'm probably exaggerating our little county. <clears throat> no bread. No milk, I don't think. Well, I didn't walk over there, but I wouldn't think it'd be any. And um, I went to get some hamburger meat. <clears throat> hamburger meat's gone up, y'all. And um, so I got something to fix for supper, and it's going to be stretching for a few days. Of course, we do that around here anyway, but the price of the stuff has gone up. So that's a little disheartening right now. I was trying to tell my son, you know, you know, don't eat everything in this house while I'm going to work because we got to start making some things stretch and stuff, you know. Because um, you know, I'm almost fifty years old and uh I ain't never seen it like this. You know, hurricane season, yes, you're gonna run low on bread, you know, but because they go nuts during that time. But that's the only time I've ever seen no bread on the shelves. So I said, don't eat everything in this house. Of course, he's 16 and, you know, with teenagers, which all kids, you know, maybe my grandbabies, you know, they want something to eat all day long. They constantly, Granny, get this. Can I have this? You know, their little bellies is just like, they just constantly want something to eat. So, we just got to learn to portion it out. Or what? I don't know. I'm talking crazy. I'm half nuts. I'm tired. And I ain't got enough crochet time. That's my problem, I think. I'm still working on my little thing. And, you know, I'm trying to balance everything. Washing and uh, doing this and that and the other. And scrubbing a tub when I find a chance. You know, just, you know, life. And, um, I did buy me some yarn. I, got, I ain't gonna show it to you. I got some more coming. I don't know why, but them big balls of yarn get me every time. They had Mary Max some, um, Crystal Bag O' Day showed them, so I got some of that Red Heart Comfort. It's got, like, I don't know, over a thousand, maybe 1,200 yards in it. I got, like, eight of those different colors, and then I've got some coming got like almost a thousand I think I got 13 balls of that and I don't know where I'm gonna put it craziest thing you know but here I am talking about rationing food and I buy yarn don't make no sense I'm just saying but yep that's where I'm at but I just wanted to pop in and I ain't gonna say the word, but you know what it means. Be and moan. 
but y'all it's nuts it's really nuts you know and people spread rumors and um you don't know if it's true and uh you know they get you stirred up and get you hot and bothered and um your blood starts pumping and you, and you don't you know you just want to go home and lock the doors and hide which is what we're supposed to be doing anyway right well i'm gonna hop off here maybe when i come back i'll be more cheerful we'll talk to y'all later practice that social distancing y'all see you later